Hey everyone, this is Renee from the iPhone blog. We're at WWDC 2010 and I'm with Bernd from Navigon. How's it going, Bernd? Hey, good, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. So we spoke to you last at CES. Um, before that, you hadn't launched all your, your latest update with all the beautifully rendered mountains and scenery in it, and now you have. How's it going so far? Yeah, we're really, really happy with it, basically, so far. So uh, we had a lot of success in the in the iGen store, store, so everything's really going well for us. And so preparing for some good new things that show up later. Has, has there been a good uptake of, of that kind of a feature in Navigon? Because it was an in-app purchase, right? Yeah. So I'm really happy with the whole in-app purchase progress because people, they don't need to decide in the beginning where they, when they buy an application, they have some time and they can wait. And then they see, oh, there's maybe traffic, for example. There's, I'm stuck in a traffic jam. I like to now update my application to traffic. And so is it with, uh, with Panorama View. A lot of people are buying and also all the customers that are customers for almost a year now are uh, now buying new features We are in a purchase. So that's, that's really good. Do you find that you, you win them over with the core features and then after they trust that you're getting them where they want to go, now they want to play more or they want to get a better experience? Yeah, that's certainly true. That's uh, certainly true. So a lot of people really first try the application, they see the quality of the application, they like it, use it every, every day, and then they top up with other add-on features. And we spoke about this before, but it's even more true now is that you're paying a lot of attention to the iPhone experience. Like iPhone users, they're used to good graphics. They almost want it to look like a video game sometimes. Yeah, that's really important for us. So where some others really only poured their PND application yeah. onto the iPhone, it was from the beginning very important for us to have this real iPhone user experience, to use the, the controls, the buttons, like on the iPhone, that the application looks like a native iPhone application. And of course, graphics and design is important for us. Speaking of which, Steve Jobs is now giving you an iPhone with four times as many pixels on it. So does that, does that make you have to run back to the, to the artboard again? No, I don't think so. So, of course, we need to check that now, and we hope to get our hands on the new iPhone. But as soon as we, un uh, as far as we understood it, there's, uh, yeah, the application running quite smooth from the beginning. But of course, there will be some enhancement, and we're right now working on that. Of course, that it looks really crisp on this on this gorgeous new display. Panorama view might look fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think so too. What did you think about the new iPhone in general? Great device, of course. So it looks really good from the pictures I saw. I did not have it in my hand so far, but it's not that time. Um, to wait, so really, really curious to see our application on the new iPhone. You might get one? Sure. <laughs> and since we last spoke also, the iPad is now released. What do you think about the iPad in general? Well, the iPad is a great device. It's a great device for reading books, reading magazines, surfing the web at home, and all that stuff. Also, when, when we are at work, you can do your emailing, you have a calendar with you. Um, well, also in the route planner space, there is, uh, I think, quite some good things you could do with the iPod, iPad. We also, of course, looked into it for navigation purpose, but still we think for sole navigation, it's not the, maybe, it's not the most common device. So it's awkward to mount in the car. <laughs> exactly. So we're still monitoring it very closely, and uh, we have some things in mind uh, which could be really cool on the iPad. Uh, so looking forward, 2010 for Navigon. I know you obviously have stuff in the pipeline. Um, you can't give me specifics now, but are you, are you excited about where you're going this year? Absolutely. So there's a lot of cool new features that are coming in our application. Of course, with multitasking in iOS 4, it would be really great for applications like ours. Turn-by-turn -turn application, I think, waited all the time now for this uh, multitasking feature. And that's going to run in our application as well. And we really love it. And for you, the, the way Apple is implementing it, because I mean, some people are complaining that it's not true multitasking, but if, from what you want to do, can you get that done with iOS 4? Well, for us, it's, I think, really perfect. So the implementation for us is really good. Um, first, we thought, oh, there's a lot of yeah, reconstructioning that needs to be done from our side, and it turned out that it was not that big effort to do. And on the other hand, it's really good that it's not this true multitasking, because applications like ours are quite some uh, power consumption, uh, consumption applications. And uh, yeah, we can now separate really the threads, like the core audio, the core location to have it run in the background, and all the other yeah, application parts can go sleep. So that's quite nicely done and works really good. All right, well, I know I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what you're going to give me. This is Bernd from Navigon, and we're at WWDC 2010. Thank you, Bernd. Thank you.